Angela Rayner seems to have disregarded the safety of women as she has sworn alliance to the transgender ideology. Watch this video of her responding to a transgender caller on LBC. I just wanted to ask, um, so I'm a 19 year old transgender woman from the southwest of England and I mean something that I've kind of noticed in this leadership debate is all of them just seem to be trying to one-up each other on who can attack trans people the most. Mm. It's like We're not attacking trans people, not at all. We're attacking the idea that it's okay for biological men to go into women's spaces because that disregards women's safety and I think women should have a right to have safe spaces, spaces where they're able to go, where they feel safe. And I also don't think it's attacking trans people to acknowledge biological reality. That's a woman is an adult human female. There's nothing wrong with that. But it seems like acknowledging this point is attacking trans people. Being used as some kind of political football, like, yeah. you know, Penny Morden going from saying trans women are women to saying I'd never support self ID. And I mean, it feels like. Not supporting self ID isn't attacking trans people, it's simply protecting biological women and also protecting the idea that gender can't be something that can be changed. Your gender is your sex, a woman is an adult human female and there's nothing you can do to change that realistically. But even more so, why would you want to loosen the safeguards even more to women's only spaces? Over the next two years at least, I'm just going to lose more rights from Mm. the EHRC report earlier this year to the government excluding trans people from a conversion therapy ban and I mean so from my knowledge the European Court of Human Rights deemed that it's okay to exclude trans women from women's only spaces in hospital which makes sense there's a reason why we have single sex spaces and with the government excluding conversion therapy from trans people again it's not true because if you did want to include trans people in the conversion therapy ban then that would include questioning whether someone should go through transgender surgery which is important to question because it is um it is a big decision the people who've been through conversion therapy and it's horrible yeah and i'm just i'm terrified of even you know checking twitter or anything because trans people are always tra- always trending with people hating us and i don't really know i mean the question i really wanted to ask is is a labor government really going to be able to fix that because you know, it doesn't, they've still got transphobic MPs in the Labour Party, like um, Rosie Duffield or more recently Rachel Reeves. It shouldn't be seen as transphobic to acknowledge that a woman is an adult human female and acknowledge the importance of women's only spaces. Apparently these simple acknowledgements are too right-wing and extreme for those in the Labour Party. I don't know if I can trust Labour or the Tories. Yeah, I think, to to be honest, Rebecca, one of the things that really frustrates me, and I said it earlier in the programme, because if you're a young person and you're listening to this debate, especially if you're on Twitter, which I, I don't recommend anybody debates it on Twitter, to be quite honest with you, I think it is really devastating and, and nasty and really harmful for people. Now, I, I get that there is genuine concerns out there around, you know, women-only spaces, et cetera, et cetera. And I get that there's a huge amount of scaremongering that's going on. She doesn't recognise it's a concern because the women who have raised these concerns, like Rosie Duffield, have been ostracised from the Labour Party. They've been silenced. What about all the violence towards women who don't feel comfortable with biological men in their spaces? That never seems to get mentioned using the the trans debate at the moment and transgender women as some sort of political football to abuse and to to base um, I think is it's not using them as a political football to abuse it's simply asking questions again and I can't repeat this enough it's important to question whether biological men should be able to go into women's spaces that has very serious consequences absolutely appalling and I don't think the vast majority of the general public are on the, that side either I think you know we do have to set out what the equalities legislation says I think it's pretty clear I think we can you know we can and look at the Gender Recognition Act, we can look at self-identification that protects the rights of people uh, that do want to transition. What are the rights of women who don't feel comfortable with biological men entering their spaces, Angela Rayner? Are they important? You know, prevents the fears that I think is out there, fears that I don't think is justified, and I think if we're able to have that debate in a constructive way... 
they're not allowing that debate. Look at Rosie Duffield. Unless you agree with the transgender agenda, you're isolated, you're ostracised from the progressive circles. It's not the gender critical women who are opposed to having a conversation, Angela Rayner. There's transgender women's rights are women's rights. Again, what about them rights to have single sex spaces? Transgender women are women all day long, but it doesn't make it true. That can have the solution to that and can work with each other to it. But if we debase it down to what I've heard on social media and some of the stuff that I've heard from the candidates that are standing to be the next prime minister, I do not think they're doing um, any justice to what we need to do in Britain to make it a more equal place for people. Again, the candidates have simply just asked questions. They've not said anything bad. They've not said anything bigoted. But even asking questions is too much. The Labour Party and Angela Rayner can come across like they just want to have a conversation, but realistically, that's not true. They just want you to accept blindlessly that trans women are women, and that's not true. Women's rights and transgender rights conflict each other. And until the Labour Party acknowledges that, they're not going to win another election. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm Jess Gill and this is Reason. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye.